Welcome to Robert Lloyd, where I give you the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. Today, people, today, I'm giving you a super simple GIF animation that you can use to advertise your t-shirts, your apparel, your e-commerce, anything that you sell on the internet, and this is definitely great for Instagram. And you guys, if you like this tutorial today, please give it a thumb up, subscribe at your own pace, and if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and get into Photoshop while I'm getting my GIF animation ready now. So one thing that you're going to need for this project is photographs for your t-shirt. Now I am creating an exclusive mock specifically for this project and I will be including that on my website. So definitely go to robertloyal.com forward slash download to get that. So moving forward, after you import your pictures into this composition, you want to group them all together and then duplicate it. So these next two steps seem small, but they're going to be very important going forward. You want to go ahead and command quotation and turn on your grids. Then with the move tool, you want to go over to the ruler and move some guides into place. This will keep your design proportionate and centered. Then you finally want to put one guide directly in the middle of the composition. This guide is very important in particular because it will be used as a midpoint when you start making your masks. Now go to the layers panel, click on whatever group that you would like, go to the rectangle marquee tool, go straight to that center guide and then create a selection. Then while it's selected, go under the layers panel to where you see that mask and then mask it out. Then repeat that sequence of steps again for the second group. Now this part here is the animation and it's pretty basic in theory. But basically all I want to do is change the left side and the right side in different random sequences. And you achieve that effect just by stacking your layers and just dragging them out to create overlaps. And how you achieve whatever feel that you want is pretty much your preference. All I can tell you at this point in time is the more that you do it, the more that you understand it, the easier it becomes. So 100% go wild, the setup is pretty much basically done. Once you get comfortable with your animation, go to the shape tool, turn on your grids and create a rectangle under the t-shirts. This is where you're going to put your information. Now what I like to do with that rectangle is to add text to it and then make it flash every so often with different colors. And that's just my preference but at this point in time the animation is pretty much done. All you have to do is export it out and upload it to the web. And that's it. So you guys, if you like this, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, I'll definitely try to clarify it as much as I can. This was a very fun way of advertising my t-shirt line, you guys. Definitely check those out at robertloyal.com forward slash apparel. But I want to thank you guys for watching this today. Stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.